fourth biggest mistake that baseball players are making today that are keeping them from being all-stars. And this is primarily a pitching issue. Okay, a lot of pitchers protect by neglect. Okay, you either protect by neglect or you overtrain with three pound, three pound dumbbells. And what I mean by that is you guys take such good care of your shoulders. And I encourage you guys to take care of your shoulders, but you can't protect your shoulders by neglecting them. Oh, we're not gonna do shoulder presses. We're not gonna do lateral raises. We're not gonna do things to build our shoulders because we need those shoulders out on the field. And yes, that's true. But what you're doing there is you're neglecting the big muscles around your shoulders in order to protect the little muscles inside your shoulders. And that's kind of the backwards way of doing things. You completely forget about your shoulder training, your, all the muscles around your shoulders, your delts, your pecs, your lats, your traps, your rhomboids, all the muscles that hold that shoulder girdle solid, you forget about it and you just let it go. And you neglect your shoulders and in the long run, you're doing more harm than good. So you can't neglect your shoulder training to protect those little muscles inside. Think about a baseball. A baseball is five ounces of string and leather. It's really all it is. And if we neglected the outer covering of the baseball, if those stitches weren't held tight, all the string inside, the, the string is the little stuff, the covering is the big stuff, right? All that string inside would eventually come loose and unravel because the outer covering wasn't strong enough and secure enough. So we can't neglect the outer covering of our shoulder to protect the little stuff inside because that's gonna put more stress on the rotator cuff. So you can't protect your shoulder by neglecting it. The other thing that goes on is you overtrain Overtraining, you usually think of these really high intensity, super high volume, high energy workouts, and it leads to breaking down your body. But you can overtrain your shoulder with little three to five pound dumbbells. And I see this a lot as well, where it's the opposite of protecting by neglecting. It's, it's the opposite extreme. Now, you're taking those little three to five pound dumbbells and you're doing so much work for the little muscles inside. You're actually doing more harm than good by overworking your rotator cuff muscles. If you think about your rotator cuff, um, look at your pinky. That's about the size of the muscles in your rotator cuff. It's four little muscles in there that are responsible for rotating your shoulder. And they're really little, really small muscles. And you can very easily give them too much work. Especially in season, when you're out throwing bullpen sessions, long tossing, throwing innings on the mound, and then you come in and you take your dumbbells and you're doing more, more rotation work for your rotator cuff. So there is an instance where you need to weigh how much you're throwing with how much rotator cuff work you're doing and there needs to be ebb and flow throughout the season. On a week where you do a lot of throwing, ease back on your rotator cuff training. On a week where you don't do a lot of throwing, you, you had four rainouts in the past five days, you know what, maybe you can step up your rotator cuff training a little bit. So you've really gotta map things out throughout the season and be smart about it, but don't overtrain your rotator cuff because you won't make it through the season. So there's tip number four protecting by, by neglecting and overtraining with three to five pound dumbbells. Stay tuned for tip number five, the fifth biggest mistake that baseball players are making today that are keeping them from being all-stars.